Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Ask the Gluten-Free Chef. I'm your host, Calvin, and I'm here to answer your questions about celiac disease, gluten-free living, and gluten-free eating. To learn more information on how you, too, can live a simple, happy, and healthy gluten-free lifestyle, follow my food blog at theglutenfreechefblog.com or follow me on Twitter at glutenfreechef5 and like me on Facebook at The Gluten Free Chef Blog by Calvin Eaton. We're also found on Stitcher, and you can also review and like this podcast over at iTunes. Let's jump right into this week's episode. So this week's question, what gluten-free brands are the best, is pretty much a subjective question. And So before I get started in answering that, I I guess I'll just go ahead and give a disclaimer that this is not a sponsored episode, meaning that there is no brand or company paying me to discuss any of these topics. So I just wanted to put that out there right at the beginning of this because I, I take great consideration to the brands that I do actually promote on my blog and being that I've lived with celiac disease so long and run a food blog and do a lot of cooking and recipe development, the brands that we're going to discuss in this episode are really brands that I personally use in my everyday cooking and baking and brands that I trust. And so just so that you know, this is not one of those sponsored type of, of, of situations where Basically, I'm promoting something because they're paying me to do so. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, I think I just want to go ahead and get into the question, what gluten-free brands are the best? And like I just mentioned, that's a subjective question, especially when you're talking about food and brands, because all of us have so many different tastes and what we like and what we don't like. And you really, it, it can vary from one person to the next on what one person considers a good brand or, or why they don't consider another brand a good brand. But... I think that I've tried to make, at least when I do reviews of products, I try to take myself out of it and be as objective as possible and really thinking through, um, not because I'm a foodie, I, I try not to be as biased, I guess. Or sometimes I, I think I want to say that I'm, I'm more, I scrutinize things a little bit more so that I am, when I'm giving a review, I'm, I'm trying to give it as m- much of, of an objective and unbiased um, review as possible. So, really, I think when it comes to gluten-free brands, there's there's a lot on the market. And each and every year, more and more companies are kind of jumping on the bandwagon. And I hate to say that because that's usually said in a negative way. But really, what's happened is that because there's such a a demand for gluten-free products, many organizations that many, or not even many years ago, but just a few years ago, they didn't have any gluten-free brands. You think about brands like Betty Crocker and General Mills within the last three or four years, have started to have gluten-free versions of some of their most um, popular products. For instance, I know that um, General Mills makes a gluten-free line of Chex, which I love. They didn't always have that. They The Chex brand that are gluten-free are made, I think they're corn-based and rice-based. And so, in addition to that, a brand like Betty Crocker now has a a line of gluten free baking mixes that they did not always have. So I think instead of saying that these companies are jumping on the bandwagon, I think I want to go ahead and say that they're actually listening to us as consumers. And because there is such an increase of individuals who have gluten sensitivities and or celiac disease. These brands have finally listened to what we've been asking for and are beginning to have more products, more convenience type products in their lines that cater specifically to those in the celiac community. Now, me personally, 
being a cooker, being a cook and being a baker and being a foodie, some of the brands that I love and that I use in my pantry pretty much every day or regularly are Bob's Red Mill. They have wonderful products, everything from flowers to granolas to hot cereals that are gluten-free. What I like about Bob's is that they're Products are sourced gluten-free and their grains, for instance, their oats are grown on farms that are dedicated completely to growing gluten-free oats. And again, their processing facilities are also dedicated to solely um, processing gluten-free food. So there's no issue with cross-contamination, except at least from um Bob's Red Mill perspective. So that's an excellent brand that I use. Another popular brand that I like is Udi's. They have, you know, ready-to-eat muffins. Udi's has cereal. Udi's has granola bars and food bars that are excellent. Just the whole host, everything from bread to muffins to chips. Udi's is a great brand. And um, in addition to that, also Glutino is a brand that I use regularly. I like Glutino because they really have found a niche in that convenience food product market. So, you know, they have everything from from crackers that are like wheat thins but that that are gluten-free. Their pretzels are great. They have a honey mustard pretzel that I like a lot. And they have a fudge-covered pretzel that are are really good that I like. Um, They also have several lines of ready-to-go baking mixes, everything from pancake mix to cupcake mix to cake mix to muffin mix. And a lot of times I will adapt a recipe or use an Udi's mix, or I'm sorry, a Glutino mix to make something or bake something that's like the base when I don't necessarily feel like um, blending a a scratch-made flour flour blend. I'm sorry there, I'm stammering over my words there for a second, I turned to Glutino for the ready-to-eat baking mixes, which I love. Blue Diamond's another great gluten-free brand that you can trust. They have a line of nut-thin or nut-based crackers that I think are really good. It took me a long time to find gluten-free crackers that that are similar to wheat thins. And I think Blue Diamond, at least in my opinion, and I've reviewed them on my blog, theglutenfreechefblog.com, Their line of nut-thin crackers, which are almond-based, are excellent. So you can eat those with, like, a tuna salad or when you do, like, a cheese and cracker tray. They're a great brand to turn to. Kind Bars have been been around for a while, and I love their bars. Their bars are um, nut-based, so many of them. They are a combination of cashews or almonds or some type of a nut, and they're gluten-free as well. Enjoy Life is another great gluten-free brand that I use in my um, my pantry. They have a wonderful line of gluten-free chocolate chip morsels that are uh, vegan. They're gluten-free. They're grain-free. They're dairy-free. And when I d- bake for those who may have a dairy sensitivity, Enjoy Life, their chocolate chips are pretty good. I think that they are very close to what you're used to in terms of the texture and the way that they melt in a chocolate chip cookie. So I use Enjoy Life a lot. Um, That's just kind of switching gears here to talk about pasta. There are many, several brands of gluten-free pastas on the market now. And Tinky Yada, I was using very early on when I first started to convert to gluten-free Their gluten-free pasta holds well, Um, it cooks well, it has a great texture and consistency, and you don't have to cook it for 30 minutes. So I like them for their gluten-free pastas. Um, Hillary's Eat Well is another great gluten-free and vegan company. They do a lot of the pre-made vegan hamburger patties, or not hamburger, but I should say vegan burger patties. They're really good. Saffron Road is another great gluten-free brand that does. They do a lot of chickpea. They're really more natural-based, organically sourced line of products, and they're really good. And also Vans, which has a whole line of convenience frozen frozen waffles, frozen pancakes. So Vans Natural Foods is also another great brand that I use. Now, I also kind of wanted to talk about, for most of us, 
we shop at grocery stores, and some grocery stores in certain areas, I know where I'm at in upstate New York, Wegmans is very popular, and they have a whole natural market area of every store of in, in my area where you can go to this specific section of the grocery store and really get your whole foods, your natural foods, your gluten-free foods, but I know that that's not always the case in all grocery stores, and so... Sometimes I shop online for my gluten-free products. I find that gluten-free products are typically a little bit more expensive or in some cases a lot more expensive than their non- or their gluten-full counterparts. And so I like to do who doesn't like a bargain and Vitacost.com is an excellent site where you can find all of the brands that I've mentioned here and many, many more. They are a natural based online food store so think about amazon but for food and many times you can buy some of the same products on vitacost.com that are somewhere sometimes between 15 to 25 percent depending on the special that's running they do a lot of like buy six get three free type of things so you can buy bob's red mill online um just a whole source of natural and organic foods and flowers and grains that you can get that you might not be able to find depending on where you are living in the country. Another brand that I just recently found out was Against All Grain. Now when you're talking about gluten-free, usually it's bread that's like the biggest culprit or the biggest um, contention for those of us who have gone gluten-free. Where can I find edible gluten-free bread Or what brand can I find that's going to hold well, that I don't have to toast, that's not going to crumble. And Glutino has really improved upon their sandwich bread over the years. Their slices are a, a lot bigger and a lot softer than they used to be. I turn to them now. They they send me a lot of products because I do a lot of reviews for them on my blog, the Gluten Free Chef blog, and I've really seen a improvement on their bread and the texture, the chew, the consistency of it. The slices are a lot bigger. They I like their whole grain bread that they have that's gluten free. Their white sandwich bread is really good that they have, and they also have like a multi grain that I like. Now because I am a foodie and a baker, when it comes to bread. I I eat it more now because I get products sent to me many times, but a lot of times I I can go without bread and I don't really, because that was one of the first things that I cut out, I just kind of got used to not eating bread. So really, bread is not really a big big issue for me in terms of feeling like I don't have uh, an adequate replacement. Many times I eat a sandwich without bread. I've really taken to doing the lettuce wraps. Where you take like some type of a, maybe a ground turkey and you you use like lettuce to wrap it in place of bread. I think that's a great alternative. But again, Glutino, they do great with bread. I like Udi's bagels. Their bagels are a little bready for me. And what I mean by that is that they're a bit thick. But I think that if you like bagels and if you really just want a bagel, they have a cinnamon raisin bagel that I think is great. And also like a plain bagel that I think is really good. That I think they're better when they're toasted for sure. But Udi's is really good for bread. They have wraps, I know, that I, that I like. And they also have a gluten-free, um, ready-to-bake pizza crust that I've used when I want to just do some type of, like, a pesto pizza, for instance. So these are just some options to think about and to consider when you are looking for brands that are gluten-free. This list is for sure not exhaustive. And so... I'm sure that many of you who may be listening who have been gluten-free for several years have those brands that you just love, that you trust, that you've come to appreciate. And just like everything else that we eat, I'm really a creature of habit. And when I find a brand that I like, I like to be able to go and get it time and time again. And many times, I that's why I order online because I find that when it comes to gluten-free products, stores can tend to be inconsistent with what they offer and it's like for instance walmart i know you might go there and find a gluten-free brand one week but the next week you'll go back to the same walmart and they may not have that gluten-free brand so a lot of times that's why i just immediately go and do my shopping online because i know that i'm going to be able to get the same product that i like and not have to search all over the city to find it but like i said 
many of the the national brand and even brands that have popped up that are um, really focused on giving you organically sourced, gluten-free products that are made with whole, real ingredients that are limited on your preservatives are really popping up. And you can do your, your research, not only on my blog, the Gluten-Free Chef blog, but also many other blogs that really feature some of the best products that are on the market for those of you who might be newly diagnosed so that you you're, you aren't searching for for years and for months on what some of the best brands are because it really can get costly when you don't know even where to start. And so just having a starting point, I think, was really the purpose of this episode. And so I hope that you were able to just kind of know, get a get a starting point, know what to put in for your Google search and wherever you may be in the country, hopefully you are close to some type of a store that carries at least some of these brands so that you're not doing the trial and error and buying products and finding that you don't like them and then starting from square one again. So I think that'll wrap us up for this post. Again, you can learn more information on gluten-free living and eating over on my blog, thegluten-free-chef-blog.com. You can also like and share me on Facebook at The Gluten-Free Chef Blog by Calvin Eaton and as well as ask any other questions that you might have Send those to Twitter under Gluten Free Chef 5, hashtag Axe the Gluten Free Chef. And this will wrap up this week's episode Axe the Gluten Free Chef.